Hi there Scorpio, thank you for joining me for your weekly forecast for week commencing the 31st of August. Ever since the 25th of July, Venus, the planet of love, has been tracking backwards in the parts of your horoscope to do with your ambitions. And if some of your hopes seem to have been cramped a little bit from that time until now, it really wouldn't be a surprise, especially professional aspirations because Saturn in your sign has actually been forging a right angle with Venus for many of those weeks and that may have left you feeling very hedged in and however hard you've tried somehow other people have seemed to have been a bit switched off from what you've had to say. Now more recently your Curula Mars has been emboldening you and giving you more self-confidence in this sector but Mars and Venus get together this week and you can find just the right balance to articulate your ideas to people in the know. What's a little bit trickier this week, I feel, could be around your social life or even your romantic situation, particularly if there is some kind of spill spillover between the two areas, such as your partner knows some of your friends and vice versa. However, the key is the role of Neptune. Neptune is going to be in opposition to the Sun through to Thursday and then with Jupiter from then until the end of the week. Neptune can distort but it can also amplify in a very sensitive way how we absorb information. And if you do go and do something with a group of people which is very spiritual, very uplifting or fascinating, well a great time can be had by all. But if you're trying to talk through something where hard and fast decisions need to be made or people need to take the lead, some jealousies could be really washing around the piece, particularly on the back of Friday's quarter moon in the sign of Gemini. So watch out for someone who wants control or is rather possessive or resents the amount of time you're spending with a partner or with your friends. It just depends on your unique circumstances. But in the last three days of this week, the Sun starts to combine with Pluto, your other ruler. And this is wonderful because it means if you can organise your thoughts clearly, you can be incredibly persuasive. And it could be you, by the end of this week, who comes out as being a leader in a situation and provides a lead to yourself. When the Sun and Pluto combine in a trine, it's almost like some kind of reconstruction is going to go on, or transformation. But that transformation can be deep within us, or it can be in a more physical way, in terms of what we're trying to build up in our lives. So it's a fascinating week, that's for sure, and we just need to keep our feet on the ground a little bit, with Neptune's swirling, misting type of unreality. But there is also the potential for some real good advancements too. Thank you for joining me. Good luck and goodbye for now.